Welcome to Life Through Lyrics. I'm here with nobody at from Philly, PA. Mm. <laughs> uh, can you guys please go through and introduce yourselves and say what you do in the band and how old you are? That's a tough question. <laughs> My name is Johnny and I have no idea how old I am. What do you do in the band? I play the vocals and sing the guitar. Um, mm. Mm. I, mm. Hey girl. I <laughs> am, <laughs> my name's Matt, I'm the drummer, I uh, drum. I drum a lot, stuff, he drums a lot, I drum a lot, I'm Ryan, and I play the bass guitar, okay, <laughs> how did you meet and form your band, I know you can answer that, doesn't matter, I met Joe, through MySpace when that still existed because they were looking for a guitarist. So I hit him up and that's how we met. We met Matt through Christian Mingle because yep. we were looking, our relationship me and Joe wasn't going so well. So mm -hmm. we wanted to add something, a little spice, a little flavor. So. A little Christian. A little Christian, yeah. We are a Christian <laughs> rock band from hell if you didn't know that. <laughs> 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 that cat. <laughs> She's like, fuck the guitar pick. Oh You're like, God, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in 2009, your EP came out. This one cut it for a photo finish, correct? Yep. Okay. I think. And then in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go for the next chapter on that. In 2012, Say Your Goodbyes, your full length album came out, correct? Yes. Okay. How do you think you've grown and changed as a band between the two releases? <laughs> well, we've had about 50 different members. <laughs> yeah, oh, I wasn't I'm around. The, I'm the only <laughs> one by <laughs> this one's heading for a photo finish. Really? Um, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, well now you do. Okay, um, now they do, so that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I was on it. Um, those songs were some of the first songs that I ever wrote. So I don't think that I could. I mean, I think they're decent. But they're not they good new ones. They they hate them, or he hates them. <laughs> he doesn't mind them. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not they're okay. okay. No, he loves like yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll skip them. His favorite song is one that didn't even make the cut to be on the EP. Actually, it's a song that we we'll play like when we need to play like 50 songs. I talk about so. Carefree. Yeah, Carefree is a great song. Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't it on the EP? Because it it like. I don't know, it wasn't that good. Like, it was like really, really simple and just didn't, I didn't think it was as good as the four songs that we had on But uh, he loves it because that's the kind of music he likes. Shouldn't be I like everything that sucks. Okay. So you didn't really answer my question, but that's fine. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat the question. I'm reading. Well, we've grown. Right. How have we grown? Yes. Oh, you've, had band music. Band. you've had member changes. Okay, so. Our music has matured quite greatly. Definitely. It went from like a very, I don't know, fun pop punk sound to like a still fun but like we had like Dark. a darker edge with yeah. more progression. And There's more like a direction now. Like before, like it was like songs that were written and just kind of like, I don't know, we didn't take our time with them as much, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And uh, like the album has like sort of a concept behind it, you know, and a feel and it like kind of goes throughout the record. and. That didn't really exist on the EP, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The EP's like four separate songs right. that we liked, or we wrote them and liked, but uh, then, I mean, we we like worked on that full length for a while, and we talked about every little detail on it, so it fit, you know what I mean? How long, this is not my list, but how long have the three of you been together as nobody yet? Ryan and I have been in the band for over two years, I think. Yeah, we're going on three, three yeah. and a half now. But the three of us, I joined, a little over a year ago. So it's been like a year and a month, maybe? Yeah, probably about that. Yeah. We actually did our March tour, and then we joined at the end of the tour. Yeah. The tour was pretty much wrapped up. Yeah, so a year and a month ish. The March to Nowhere tour. That's such a great time. <laughs> is Say Your Goodbyes your full length? Is it based uh, on a bad breakup? Is it the product of a bad breakup? Uh, some of it is kind of. Definitely some crazy lyrics mm -hmm. in there, um, some metaphors and stuff. Um, that fueled it, which was good, yeah. I think, you know. 
sucked at the time. Yeah, but, like, but it, you come out with great stuff. Yeah, at least I thought so. <laughs> and, um, yeah, definitely, that was a big thing. And I was always against that. I was always against like writing songs about girls, and I was like, hmm, maybe I can twist it and make it really crazy and have moms freak out over it and my dad. And, uh, <laughs> And yeah, um, there's some other like little elements in that one too, you know, about like not giving up on the record because that's definitely <laughs> on the band. That was awesome. I'm sorry. Um, the cat was trying to get on his lap. It was Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to that out. Okay. There's like, I'm uh, so sorry. There, it's, there's like, kill, you'll have to kill me first is I'm not giving up. Um, thanks for the frost and flakes. Might have to do with us stealing shit. And I'm also. And, not, and and people being flaky, yeah. you know, like we have so many members try out. Like Ryan, I think, called me or something and was like, dude, I have a great title. Thanks for the Frosted Flakes. So about all the flaky ass drummers we've had trying out. This is before this guy came. And then it's also about the fact that we went to a show and stole Frosted Flakes. So. Um, about like 20 boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you that they had 20 boxes? <laughs> Can't say. Oh, yeah, I can't, can't say. say. <laughs> Not bad. I might go to jail. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to go back to jail. Well, let's, let's just say they say a lot of frosted flakes. Yeah. <laughs> That's wrong with him. Okay. And then we got in the van, and <laughs> like Ryan sat down, and I like whooped out a whole box of Twix, a whole box <laughs> of honey buns. Like it was like we were laughing and dying. How did you get it out? Like how did? We're really good at borrowing things. <laughs> Okay, that's all I need to know. Yep. Um, what do each of you have a favorite song of never, like a Never Yet song? What's your favorite? Probably. Do you gonna say what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, probably, well, probably. Next question. <laughs> oh man. Well, at first my favorite was Fall of the Great Wall. I just heard it and I just I just fell heard it. it. I just, and I just I couldn't, couldn't get away from it. But recently, I'd probably say. Oh, it's tough. Locked in here is really good. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go with that. Locked in here is really great. I really like Locked in here a lot. Cambria! <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like uh, Locked in here. Um, I like Ray the Locksmith a lot. Um, I think there's two of my favorite. I like the bar one a lot. And Locked. Not Cured Yet. And, no, <laughs> I'm trying to look out them. Locked in here, definitely. Um, and Paul the Great Wall is also one of my favorites because right when I joined, it was a brand new song for the band. I remember hearing it and it kind of always stuck with me. It's like something I really like, so that's what I did part of like the recording of that and everything. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all that stuff. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, what do you hope for people to take away from your music? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I personally want them to jump around and go crazy, like, because that's what it's about for me. I want people to listen to it and get excited and, like, love how catchy, like, the choruses can be, but love how, like, maybe intricate, like, certain parts can be. Um, and, uh, I mean, if you can, if you can, like, like, yell open the fucking door and feel that, like, power behind it, or... Um, you know, sing the chorus of like singing It's My Revolution and stuff and feel like, you know, moved by the like at least the emotion that I tried to get across with it, you know, about not giving up or maybe about hating your ex girlfriend for that period of time or, you know, trying to get over that. Like I don't know, I think anyone like can can take how they're feeling, you know, and listen to the songs and have it relate to that. Um, but I'm all about jumping around and just having fun, and, and, and that's what I really hope people do. You know, like get into it. I'm, it's a dream to have people read the lyrics and know the lyrics and like, you know, dig them and sing along. Um, so hopefully they do that too. You have to better. You have other names. I agree with that. I really know what the hell I just said. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what I just said. I was listening and I was like, what the hell is he talking about? But I mean, it works. Okay. <laughs> Who or what are your biggest inspirations musically? Um, this guy's like the odd man out because he loves like Chumbawamba and Top the Bird and like 
most random bands ever. Ryan and I usually like click on bands like we love. We all love Bayside. We all love A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, um, the Panic record. Mm -hmm. We, Ryan and I love Pierce the Veil and we're getting him into them and Lars into them now because of us. We're obsessed with Pierce the Veil. Um, we all like Green Day. We cover Green Day like all the time. We like, you know, Fall Out Boy. Um, who else do we like? Silverstein. Silverstein. Ryan and I. Apple Trio. She said you guys sound like Apple Trio. I was playing. I can see that. She's a big Apple Trio fan. Awesome. She's like, they sound like Apple Trio. Cool. Awesome. Where can my viewers, if they're still watching this because we've been talking for a while, where can they find your music online? Spotify. Nice. Spotify, iTunes, Facebook, MySpace still. YouTube, Throwback. Yeah, uh, Rebirth Nation. I think it's on Pirate Bay. Is it? Pirate Bay, Pure Volume. I said Big Car Jolly thing. Pretty much anywhere. You can message any, us and we'll any, probably yeah. send you some. Videos. Yeah. I'll try to put links to all that down there. I'm pointing to the description, by the way. It's down there. You're not pointing at uh, <laughs> something else? <laughs> <laughs> down there. <laughs> Somewhere on his kneecap. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I normally find that bands are friends with other bands and it's kind of like a never-ending thing. So, do you guys want to suggest a band for me to interview? Oh, Schnikes. Only on weekends. I think you're going to say that. Love Only on Weekends. I'll say that. Uh, um, we, we have a lot of friends, and for now, blank on them. <laughs> um, Kickback Tomorrow is our good friends. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely. Uh, the Hellstroms. The Hellstroms. We love great. the Venetia Fair. They're like one of our favorite bands. Um, I mean, we love all the bands we play with from this part. Like, from the Levittown crew, um, what are the Connecticut crew. Oh, oh, hell yeah. A shout out to Ooh, us. Time and again. Time and again. Time and again. Time and again. Bye. Yeah. Smoke Bomb Mondays. We're all... What was that one? Smoke Bomb Mondays. That's what you said. Yeah. I'm looking them up. All right. <laughs> okay. So, what's next for you guys? Tour, album, what's going on? Um, we might be on TV soon. Okay. Or at least we'll be on uh, YouTube. Um, <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is TV now, basically. Um, Fuse, hopefully, will have a new uh, music video when it comes out and gets fucking huge. It'll be um, on the box. The box. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we want to tour, you know, we want to play as many shows as possible. We're pretty much gonna blow up the college scene, blow up the teenage scene, you know. Probably get pregnant by a couple babes. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just ranting. <laughs> but that's what we do. We're in a van. We have a van. We have to get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. We have a third round of a battle of bands over here. And that's the cool. And then we're, we're gonna win. Yeah, hopefully we win. <laughs> we um, win. We have a song coming out, but it's not like a no BS song. I mean, I don't know. Oh, if yeah. About it ever, oh, but it might have something to do with a little cartoon action. But we did a little cartoon theme song, and that might be a. Uh... They're being very big. Okay. You know what's the real effect? <laughs> what? I have one long black hair in my eyebrow, <laughs> and my cat does too. Sure.